she's the woman of the century, and I'm talking about her soul now. The Biggest Splash is about this worldwide rock star, Marianne Lane, who went through throat surgery that left her without voice. It's about her after this transformation. She's actually deciding to drive into the curve of this hiatus and really wonder about whether she wants to pick up that life again. Paul is recovering from a suicide attempt and he's a recovering alcoholic. And that's why they go out to the island to rebuild their relationship and to find peace. Suddenly and unexpectedly, the former boyfriend of Marianne Lane and the former mentor of Paul storms into their lives again. God, I am so happy to see you! I'm sorry we didn't call, but we're hiding out. Not from me. Harry's a provocative, energized man who is also an entertainer. He likes to dance. He comes up and brings a lot of life and joy and rock and roll, but at the same time destabilizes that entire relationship. But I think underneath there is a lost soul coming to reclaim the woman who he has been in love with in the past and who's now with someone else. That makes that very interesting triangle. You brought a protege. Nice to meet you. I'm his daughter. She is a daughter that he didn't know about and he's been bonding with her. Penelope comes into this home of these people and she has no regard for anyone. Do you want some? No, I don't smoke. Doesn't mean you don't want some. She has an interest in pushing people just for her own pleasure. She's sort of a sociopath. You don't deserve either of them. You don't want to do this, man. Then as the film goes on, things from the past rise to the surface. These four people collide and everyone acts in an animalistic way. I fall in love with every pretty thing. Those are the characters and the way their desires interacts with one another, with serious consequences, is what this movie about. You're obscene. Everyone's obscene. That's the whole point. Yeah.